Hey guys, Zarawak here, and today I'm bringing you guys another video, and this is going to be a hardcore tips video about how to maneuver around the map on Hunted, and just some um, extra information to really help you guys um, do well, especially in hardcore team deathmatches, which is what I play. Um, so I'm going to go over some stuff which I found out. None of this is true, such as spawn points. I do not know the actual spawn points. I do not claim to know the spawn points, but I'm going to go through what I think the spawn points are and where people camp, where to go to vantage points, etc, etc. So let's begin with this side of the map. So when you spawn off, you spawn here. This is a common spawn. I believe there is also a spawn here and a spawn back there. There's also a spawn a bit further on that side towards the little bar area. And I believe one this rock um, going around this rock. So I believe that is the spawns for this side. Now if I go over to this side over here. So I can show you guys the spawns here. So I believe there is a spawn around about here on this rock. There is a spawn about here. There's a spawn right at the back there. There's a spawn on the bridge here. There's a spawn here. And I believe there's a spawn about where that red truck is there. So that's where I believe the spawn points are. Like I said, none of these are really confirmed. The only ones I know that are definitely there are obviously the one right back there. And the one right all the way over there. Because that's obviously where you spawn on the start of the game. So, I'm just going to go through pretty much every single bit of the map. Uh, ways I go around the map, vantage points, etc, etc. So I'm going to start with this building here. Now this building here... This spot, this corner, is a very common camping spot for team deathmatch. Like I said, I only play a hardcore team deathmatch, so all these like vantage points and stuff, a lot of them will transfer over, but some of them might just be for hardcore team deathmatch, so bear that in mind. So this camping spot here is very common. Most people will be staring this side, but possibly this side if they hear people over here, um, or just looking here in general, and they might just go like that, so they can just turn around either side. Um, so definitely make sure um, to check this corner whenever you're coming in. Uh, as well as this corner, this corner is very commonly used. Uh, I haven't really seen many people use this corner, um, but it can be used. Uh, coming in here, this corner here is very used for camping spot quite a lot of the time. Some people will just sit here, uh, some other people will just sit here, but that's very commonly easy kills, so they sit here. Um, Vantage points, obviously here, everyone knows this vantage point here, you can just kill people, cross the map here, cross the map there, coming on the wall run, coming down, coming across, you can XO up to see the people over down there, etc, etc. Um, we'll come over to here, we'll ignore the water for now, we'll go back to that in a little bit. Uh, coming up here, this hallway here, this stairway, they're quite often littered with uh, trip mines and shock chargers. Um, as well as hives, so be careful. Uh, some people like to sit in this corner here. Uh, other people will just watch out of this window here. Um, and some will lay down here. I've actually had a couple of people lay down over here. Uh, come right back here. Um, this is obviously a very common vantage point. Everyone knows this. Very easy hair glitch to do. A lot of people will sit on here. A lot of people will sit on this one as well, but it's not most common. And a lot of people will sit around here if they're attacking this side. Um, a lot of people will sit in this corner over here. Watch out. Uh, some people will lay down here to wait for you guys. Um, and then sometimes due to the spawn system, people will be sitting over here. Um, this is quite a common head glitch for this spawn point if you try and get a spawn trap. This is very common. Um, also, obviously, the other side, but not as common. A lot of people like sitting down here. Um, a lot of people will sit over here, watching across uh, on the red car, watching uh, either point uh, behind here. And most commonly with a Dracon or a free on burst weapon over here. So that's really every like camping spot um, or like head glitch spot. Um, quite a lot of people will sit on top of this rock as well, uh, depending on the game modes you play. Uh, a lot of people will try and wall run off this wall. So 
With all them, let's go with some routes that I like to take. So if I'm attacking from this side here and going across to that side to attack that side over here, um, I quite often just run across here, um, make sure I check my window, check over here. Uh, normally there will be one or two people here. You want to work this map in waves. So basically you can't just go right through the map and come all the way over here and you know enjoy your business, come over here and get a quad. You can't do that. Um, what you need to do is you need to work this map uh, almost in like sections. So you need to just clear them out. So you need to make sure there's no one in the building. Right? You got to make sure there's no one on the water. Uh, quite often I'll just do this here to look on the window. Uh, you need to make sure there's no one here. No one on these rocks behind here and under here. And then you're at the spawn trap. Now you can spawn trap to your heart's content. Um, this staircase is very good to... Um, alternate between spawn points because there's spawn obviously back there which you can just sit on this head glitch and kill them whenever and then when you see they're not spawning here just exit up here and there we go you've now got all this spawn so basically you've just covered every single spawn they can have just by the staircase over here uh, the only problem is is they can uh, obviously this rock I believe is a spawn point here and when you're there they can then spawn here you push the spawn all the way out to here or in the building or behind the bridge so be careful of that now if I'm attacking from this side uh, quite often I'll come over here uh, again I'll just make sure there's no one over here and I'll exo across here to look at the window uh, because there's always normally really someone in that window uh, or here but you really need to pay attention on whether you should exo or not or just stay around here if you see someone at the corner of your eye just lay down here wait for him to come and there we go um, quite often there'll be someone on this head glitch, on that head glitch there. You can't really verse them because if you exo up, they've already got a free like one second, two second while you're just getting your reticle back in. So, and on hardcore, that's really easy um, to die from. So if you want to try and go around the map quicker uh, and not go there, go in this water up here, poke up here, obviously check your corner, check your corner there. Quite a lot of the time there'll be trip mines on this, so definitely be careful, throw flak on. Um, and then you can kill all the people that are really camping around here. Um, other than that, uh, this wall run, like I said, is quite used a lot. Um, I use it uh, often as well. Um, if I'm attacking from this side again, um, sometimes I'll go this way. Um, if you clear the people out here and here, then slide down and not mess it up like I did. I don't know how I just survived. No, I didn't survive. Okay. Um, that, that was awkward. Um, <coughs> I've, I've tried to do this commentary before, hence why my voice is quite raspy. Because um, I've already done this commentary, but I had to redo it due to the audio not recording. So, if I'm attacking from here, uh, I clear out everyone. And I can slide down here. And if you can get down to this box here, um, you can really cause all sorts of problems. Because you know there's going to be people there, 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 and then finally there. And again, it's just working up in waves. Um, you you kill the first wave up there, you come here, you kill the second wave, you come here, you kill the third wave, and then you come here, and then you just spawn trap the crap out of them. Um, very um, good way to do it. Again, if you're going to work in waves this side, um, clearing out from there, very risky. I wouldn't really clear out from this side on going in that heart, just because of how easy it is to be out here glitched. But here, just cross mapping making sure you know you're checking all your corners and that and then you can challenge here if you want to but I don't really often um, nor do I really use this wall run either often um, you can jump in here get people by surprise and then obviously spawn points are back here um, guns to use uh, I'm using the Razorback here just to show you guys uh, the Razorback and the Pharaoh are really the only SMGs I would advise to use um, otherwise Every single AR, pretty much except from the HVK, even the HVK can be used, but this is a really AR dominated map due to the long lanes of sight. Um, but depending on how you play it, if you're going to play it a lot slower, uh, you're going to play it on like these head glitches, for example, a uh, gun like the Razorback, uh, the KN44 or the ICR, uh, very, very recommended. Uh, if you're going to be running around like a freaking headless lunatic like I do, uh, Pharaoh, HVK, uh, XR2, M8, because you can just literally just easily kill everyone. Um, 
again, like I said, I wouldn't really suggest anyone you depend on your playstyle. If you've got a really good playstyle and you can play with other SMGs, go do it. But you're most likely just going to get mapped. Um, honestly, um, I tried to use a shotgun on here and it was horrible. I tried to use a sniper on here and it was horrible. Uh, then again, I was trying to snipe on hardcore. So that might be why. But sometimes you do get a lucky break, as you guys might have seen that um, Scythe back-to-back -back quad with the um, Argus that I end up getting a Relentless with, which I haven't actually released the full Relentless yet, but I will be doing soon. Uh, I got a lucky break and just got crap enemies um pretty much i um, i still wouldn't recommend using a shotgun uh if you do you want to patrol this area patrol this build and never go never really go out further than like this line here if you go out here you're dead um if you go like out here you're dead if you go in the water you're pretty much dead if you go up here you're dead so you definitely need really a small um, small area just to patrol around. I wouldn't say camp, but just patrol around. Um, specialist, good specialist to use here. Um, psychosis, be really good. Sending people dummies, finding out where they are. Vision pulse, pretty much doing the exact same thing, finding where they are. Uh, glitch, if someone's, uh, if you've just like come from, like say here, and your ex and someone hits you, bang. I know I'm using gravity spikes, but you go back. Uh, you then turn around and kill them. They had no idea you're there. Um, other ones, uh, Sparrow, pretty good. Obviously, you can just shoot it from this side to this side and this side to this side. And then, obviously, back here as well. Uh, Tempest, I wouldn't really use so much. Um, gravity Spikes, I probably wouldn't. Uh, you're not going to get many kills. Um, Annihilator is pretty good uh, if you're really good with the Annihilator. Um, other than that, um, active camo possibly, but I don't really see people using active camo. Reject, definitely not. Combat focus, never really used it. Um, Reaper, um, Scythe, really, really good. Uh, other than that, I'm trying to think of the rest of them, and I can't right now. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a bit longer video, I know. Uh, these are the videos I want to try and do. So um, please leave a like. My throat is absolutely bloody sore right now. Uh, due to having to do this commentary twice but um, if you guys did enjoy this video uh, please leave a like and a comment um, telling me any other uh, tips and stuff you want and whether you enjoy this little series I'm going to do I'm going to do a playlist of these oh my god my voice is getting raspy so I need to end this up so anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video this has been Zark I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next